Hello everyone, welcome to MKD. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install mods for Sekiro Shadows Light device. Well, first of all, you need to register to Nexus Mods website. In order to download any mods here, you need to be registered. After registering your account, just come back to Sekiro Mod Engine and download it by clicking Manual. Well, I already downloaded it. After downloading it, open it up and then copy all the files here to your Sekiro installation folder and also make a folder called mods. You will be putting your mod files in this directory. Now, now that we installed mod engine, we need to make it work on Linux. This step is exclusive for Linux users. You need to open your Steam and then click properties on your game and then set launch options. Here you need to copy and paste this code here. This will, um, as it says, will override the DLLs so that your mod engine will work. If you do not, if you skip this step, your mod will not work. On Linux. All right, I already know what I already did it. So just copy it and paste it here, and then it's okay. Now, our mod engine is working perfectly. Now we need to install mods. This is the easiest part. Just go into Nexus mods, like here, Dark Souls 3 weapon replacements. Downloaded it and install your mods according to. Um, specific installation that, uh, instructions here. After doing that, your mods should be working fine. Like, let's, let's install a mod. Firstly, we need to go to downloads here. And then... Let me see. Like, I want to install me as a guest screen. I just open it up. It says menu. It has, a, it has two files here. I will just drag it here and then copy it on my Sekiro MOS folder. I read it. Alright, so I just write into and now it's it's done. It will work. Sadly I can't take any in game videos, but this should do the trick. Thank you for watching.